but I want to go into the actual mechanics and, and the plan. Like, what is the plan with infinite banking? Okay, so let's do uh, me first because because I know my numbers right off the bat. I'm I'm 23 years old, so the plan for me regarding infinite banking is to simply max fund. That's the plan. Max fund. I want to max fund my life insurance policy, right? I'm putting in 70,000 a year. It's a seven year funding period. Seven year funding. It's a 90-10 split. So when you do a 90-10 split, you can't go no lower than 90-10 in, in terms of life insurance. However much money you put into any type of life insurance policy at least 10% regarding whole life has to go towards your base policy insurance. Okay, so that 10% is going towards my base. Base premium, base policy insurance. That lingo just means that base means whole life insurance. All right, and then the other 90% goes into cash value, right? And the cash value, it's cash in an account with the insurance company that I can borrow at any time, I can use it at any time, but this money is also buying me life insurance. It's also paying for more insurance, okay? More uh, insurance through what's called the PUA, which stands for paid up additions. So I'm paying up over funding my whole life policy so I don't have to pay into it my whole life. That's the strategy. So the plan is max fund for a short funding period, get as much cash as possible in it in a very short period of time for the least possible amount of cost. And because I'm young, healthy, and all that good stuff, I'm able to really, really minimize my uh, expense and, and it really shows. Okay, so that's the plan for like a, a, a young guy or a young woman, okay? That would be the plan that I would put in for someone, okay? If I'm dealing with someone that's like in their, you know, early 20s, late 20s, maybe 30s, right? The, the focus is really just that one person. Now, the way I use the money, Okay, so that's when I put 70,000 in, 60K shows up in cash, just about 60K. And, I'm, and then, like I said, I'm earning between 4, 5.85% on the money. Anytime I take out a policy loan, the interest rate is 5% that the insurance company is going to charge me on my money. Okay, that's what they're going to charge me on my money but they're still gonna be crediting me four to 5.85 on all of this. So at, at any given time throughout the year, I'm never gonna borrow more than what guys? 66% of what I owe, okay? On the policy, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep it like that. That's, that's how I like to do things with my money in terms of leveraging. So 39,600 is my chunk. This is what I have to work with. Currently, I have 25,000, no, 29,650 owed on my policy right now. It's, I think it's almost 30, 30K is what I owe right now on my policy. So that means the insurance company is charging me this, but they're crediting me this on all of this still, even though I have this money out. When I took this money out, what Denzel did first was kill debt and then multiplied his cash flow. So now I've got the same money that I took from the bank and my credit cards to stuff in here along with my cash flow. I then took the money back out to make more cash flow, to make more Benjamins, right? The way I make more Benjamins is by providing value to the marketplace. 
starting a business. This is what I teach. Velocity Banking, Infinite Banking, Kingdom Authority. And this is the plan for that same 23-year-old me, right? As the, the goal was max fund it, now use it. Here's how I use it. Provide value, build a business, partner with people, share my purpose in life, and this is something that I want you all to do the same exact thing no matter what age you are at. There is something that you need to be providing value to the marketplace for so that you can fulfill your purpose, build relationships, and have something that will last forever. Okay? This is how we do it financially. I'm giving you the, the financial method of the plan how we actually take this concept to a whole new ball game, to a whole new level, okay? So this is the plan of what I do with the money. Now, now that you understood that part, here's the next part of the plan. And this is what I like most out of the whole thing is now that it, it went from a plan, but how do we bring that plan to a whole new level? And this is where I implement the kingdom plan. Okay. I know my purpose. I'm providing value to the marketplace. I'm doing what I got to do with my money. I'm managing it properly. I'm multiplying the cash flow. Okay. The kingdom plan involves family. I have a lot of clients that are married. We got husband, wife, and kids. Whoever signed up for the class, you're the main focus right now, right? Or if you're a couple and you signed up together for the class, you're the focus, the two of you. We go from velocity banking to infinite banking. We start the policy, the same plan. We want to max fund it. And typically, when I'm dealing with families, in terms of starting the policy, I like to start the plan with the person who's the most healthiest or the youngest. Typically, that's the woman, the one, the one who's the healthiest, the youngest, most in shape. You know, it's typically the women. Now, another good factor, just a little fun fact, is that uh, women typically live longer than men which is a great advantage when we're talking money on finances regarding mortality rates for the insurance company. Because you statistically live longer, guess what? The insurance company thinks you're gonna live longer. So that means they're not gonna charge you as much premium insurance as they would someone else, such as a male, same age, right? Your cost is gonna be a little bit less, not like drastically less, but a little bit less, and, and that's pretty cool. Um, so when I'm dealing with families, the best thing that I try to do is go one by one. If there's plenty of cash flow, plenty of what I call capital to start with, then typically we'll go mom and dad and we'll split it up and we have two policies. Now, as we're funding the policy, right? Let's say you did the same thing that I'm doing. You're, you're, you're strategizing for a seven-year funding period, right? And we got two policies, mom and dad, right? The question comes up is, Denzel, if I wipe out all my debt and my cash flow goes up and I start earning way more money, let's say I 10x my income. When does it make sense to start another policy or should I even start another policy on myself? Now the answer to that is a definite yes, that we can totally start a new policy, right? But before I start a new policy, if I'm dealing with mom and dad, I wanna make sure that we get kids insured first. Insure the kids first. Okay, kids insured first after you. 
wow, that's a terrible sentence. <laughs> Grandma's bad, but you know, work with me. Kids insured first after you, mom and dad. That we want to, we want to get the kids with policies before we start a new one on you, even if you're 10xing your income. The reason why is because of the kingdom plan, right? We want to make sure that this information gets passed on, like literally, like it, it shows up in DNA. Like there's no more uh, uh, slave, you know, no longer a slave to money, right? That you're, you're completely free from money, that, that, that crap with being a minority, all that stuff starts to disintegrate because you're receiving good, healthy knowledge regarding money, okay? And it's important to teach the kids this stuff at a very early age. I don't care if they're 10 years old, 15 years old, start teaching them this crap because the stuff is really going to sink in and you don't, you don't know how long you're going to be around, right? So you want to make sure you implement this stuff. Start teaching them while they're young. Get them in the room, sit them down, say, hey, I want you to know about this stuff. Mommy and daddy are not always going to be around. So I want to make sure you know how to function with this stuff. So before I decide when I'm gonna fund a second policy, you know, you're, you're, you're max funding it, you did that part of the plan, you're providing value to the marketplace, you're building your income, you're doing velocity, but everything is going right with your money. After we insure the kids, however many you have, right, then we can, if there's more money left over, then we can start a new policy. Before I start a new policy, I'm going to take that original one that you had and we're going to do what's called a reduced paid up. Okay? So let's say seven years down the road, you max funded your two policies, right? And you're ready to start a policy on, on all the kids. You got all that set up. Then I want to do this, reduce paid up meaning I can get rid of the premium on that original policy. You get rid of the premium all together and now you have a permanent bank that will last forever. Again, the death benefit will continue to rise. The cash value will continue to rise. Pretty cool, right? No matter what, not putting in any more money. So I would, redi I would redirect that premium cost. So for me, once I reach seven years, that 7,000 in premium is going to get redirected to a brand new policy, right? Uh, and then that original one will become a reduced paid up. And now I got this big old half a million plus dollar line of credit with, you know, $5 million death benefit attached to it that will increase forever. Doesn't cost me a dime after that. Not a single dime. That's pretty good. And then we start a second policy. So that's the, uh, uh, this begins to be the kingdom plan that we go through throughout the years. Now, I do have clients that are much older, right? You're in your late 50s, early 60s, early 70s, right? We probably won't get a second policy on you. So let's look at grandkids. So after you get you, husband, kids, and if you're much older, right, late 60s, 70s, around that age, let's get grandkids because they're probably of age as well. Like they're probably a little bit older as well, 18, my age, right? Let's get them in line. Look, this is, this is you know, the plan for the plan, right? And it just keeps, it keeps building. You keep passing on the knowledge. So that's what I would say to my older folks. If you're younger, you got no family, no kids, no obligations, it's just you. Focus on you, max fund, hit it, right, 10x, and then you turn it into a reduced paid up, you start a new policy. When you start a new policy based on your new income and new cash flow and new chunk capability, it'll be a much bigger policy. So in seven years, I plan on putting in 400,000 into a new policy. So 400,000 times 10%, what's that, 40,000? Yep, so that means my premium is gonna be $40,000 and I'm putting in 400,000 a year. 
that will go on if I continue to 10x my income. I got to put the money someplace. Why not in tax-free wealth insurance with death benefit and all this wonderful stuff, right? And then take the money out and put it in real estate, right? So when we're taking money out, my only suggestion that I do with my money is, like I said earlier, provide value to the marketplace first. 10x your income, activity income. Then you focus on purpose. Purpose provides passive income. When I do passive income, now we're in a whole new ballgame. That, that sounds like real estate investing to me, or maybe Forex, or um, you just continue in your own personal business, like if you are in a network marketing company or something like that. So that's pretty powerful.